Adventure Echo Tour. It's with Fury. It includes snorkeling, paddle boarding, kayaking. They have lunch during this afternoon trip and drinks. And also, we're going on a sandbar. Excited ako kasi hindi ko pa siya natatry. Ayun yung isa sa personality ko na pag hindi ko pa siya natatry, sobrang excited ako gawin. Ayun. So, ipapakita ko dito sa video na to kung ano yung ginagawa dun sa activity na yun. We're on our way there. Sana on time kami pa din. Kasi feeling ko malalik na kami din. Filipino time kahit Amerikano yung kasama. Ayun na the water is yung, yung ways lang para makapunta kayo dito is either this tour which is the Island Adventure Echo Tour or a private boat na irident nyo which is like around 8 hundred dollars or more it depends and we'll start like four hours to do that so in this trip you're gonna save money and at the same time you're making friends right and you have free foods and snacks drinks and a lot of uh, things that you will know from the tour guide
anyways, uh, the brand over here, guys, uh, this isn't even referred to as an island. Uh, we actually refer to these things as keys. And the only difference really is that these keys, they don't have the ability to make their own source of fresh water, whereas islands do. more of like a brackish water flow through it so you can grow. It was pretty cool. Um, any of those big wort tra- um, any of those uh, big extractions for salt, it's called a wort, and those worts kind of look like really big um, brown spots that are coming out from the side of it. Um, after those um, extraction points put down all the salt, the brackish water continues to flow through it. And any other uh, yellow leaves that you guys see, uh, those are called the sacrificial leaves. Basically, any other salt that got pushed through that um, root, each globe of leaves is going to have one yellow leaf. And it takes one for the team, takes all that salt for that globe of leaves, and it'll just die off. Um, but anyway, down here in the Florida Keys, um, all of our keys, they grow to be about 25, 30 feet tall. And once they hit that maximum height, they'll continue to grow, uh, but they continue to grow outwards. So uh, right over here is a really good example of it. Uh, all these little keys sticking out. Uh, that's the keys growing out. You guys can see all these keys around us are all about the same height. Um, they all have different names. All their names are going to be But anyway, um, all these keys, they are fairly protected. Uh, so what that means is you're not allowed to come out here and start like climbing around on these roads. If you do, you'll get a This is like one of only four keys that we have down here in Key West. Actually, there's a really nice beach inside of it. And that's only because these keys are so far um, southwest that these keys are really um, bad storm surge. We get tropical storms or anything big, so it pushes a lot of sand on here. Um, this beach has only been here for two years. Um, it's just now got enough depth that turtles have been coming up here. We've been laying a lot of eggs, and so that's why they've it down. Um, it's only been recently that we could go inside this. Uh, but yeah, so we get a lot of baby turtles out here. Um, these keys they take up about 75% of all the marine life in Florida. Uh, so what has happened is during high tide, like what we're in now, um, each month there's a different season for sharks. So the mom will come in here, a bunch of pregnant, she'll pop out the pups, and the mom will leave before the tide comes in. And the uh, sharks start their lives here, um, stingrays start their lives here, crab, lobsters, pretty much everything. Um, even the reef that we were at earlier, that's the third largest reef in the entire world, the Atlantic Area Reef. When those fish are ready to lay their eggs and spawn them, they'll come out here and they still have the fruit. So um, big fish part of their tank too. It's pretty cool. Everything kind of starts here. Circle of life, baby. So what we're going to do guys, we are going to be going with the current, right? So we're going to be going in with the current. So what that means is it's going to be a really nice ride in. Yeah, real it's going to suck coming out. All right. So what I like to do is while we're going in, let's not even paddle. Let's just kind of chill. We'll like steer ourselves. Let's go in nice and slow. Save a little over energy for the ride back in. I mean, it's a little bit of high tide, so that is cool because it means we can go a little bit deeper down. Uh, but we're not going all the way around the island. It takes an hour and a half. I got it before and I got in trouble. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. We are just going to go around. There's another little key that sticks out. We'll look around there. We'll come on back. Um, we guys are continue going down. Keep your eyes on the water and the roof and the tree. Um, we might be able to do a lot of cool things with the water, so just point them out. There's, um, there's a gonk here. There's a what? Gonk. Oh, I'm gonna keep dinner or not, though. Oh, okay. No, you can't keep it. Try it. There's a little baby gonk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a gonk inside of it. Go ahead. Oh, see. Oops. Oh, my God. I'm not a race. A lot of you guys didn't keep us, you've probably heard the word conk a few times down here. Uh, we are no. West, they would stop what they were doing and they'd all race on out to their designated ship with their designated crew right and the first captain who got to that wrecked ship he was known as the wrecked master so his first job was to make sure that everybody got off that wrecked ship safely and then after that he owned every single thing on that wrecked ship and it was kind of like i saved your life you owe me yours what you have and singing about the ocean anyway so i'm gonna take it right so him and his crew would make sure everybody's getting off that, that, that wrecked ship and then after that they would go back and they would like literally like they strip it clean they would take everything off of it exotic jewels silver gold iron um and then they go to spices clothes anything that they don't have down here in Key West, you know what i mean like all these ships are coming from like Spain, England. All over the world, and so they go out there, and then they go over to Mallory Square, where you guys might have went to go watch the uh, sunset over there. The sunset celebration. They go out there and they start auctioning. So that's it for today's vlog. A special shout out to Fury Water Adventures for making this trip possible. Just make sure. Um, we are gonna try this whenever you're here in Key West. It's Alan Adventure Echo Tour. Um, but the games. Thanks for watching. Pamangkin ko yan. And also, Angelica Wilburn. She's always watching my vlog as well. I just wanna say thank you for everything. Cause you're the one 
of the reason why I pursue this vlogging. And I hope you find your way for your dreams to come true. And thank you so much again for you all watching this. And that's it.